Hey guys and welcome. I'm Sophia Vincente and today I have another haul video. However, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, let me tell you a little bit about my channel. I make videos uh, about entrepreneurship, which is my journey as a new entrepreneur and stay-at-home mom. I make videos that are motivational and I also make videos giving helpful tips that I'm learning on my journey as a new entrepreneur. I also make haul videos uh, to save you time and save you money if you're on a budget. So if you guys are interested in those type of videos, don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified every time I upload videos, which will be every week. So today we are doing a haul video for um, my stuffing stockers. <laughs> stocking stuffers <laughs> all right but of course not before the rest of my intro <laughs> let's do it <laughs> So last week I did a haul to Dollar Tree and I found some things in there like I found some things for my now 10 month old uh, son and I found some things for my 17 year old uh, to put in her little stock and stuffer but when it came to my husband I really didn't find that much stuff at Dollar Tree that I knew he would like so the search continues <laughs> so I just figured today um, try Dollar General so we're going to be going to Dollar General and we'll see what we can find I'm looking for things that are just um, reasonable and I've probably only been to Dollar General like twice maybe and it was so long ago I can't even remember uh, what kind of stuff they have um i'm hoping there's a lot like dollar tree but we shall see i don't know <laughs> let's get to dollar general and see what they have all right guys let's go I went Christmas shopping at the dollar store Cause I had a long list of holiday chores Those sleigh bells jingled as I walked through the door I saw trash and tinsel all over the floor I saw stressed out husbands with stressed out wives I saw mothers with children with tears in their eyes They were crying out screaming Mother I want this As they would be reminded of the naughty list Then I saw a grandmother She was frail and gray As she walked down the aisle she shoved me out of the way i saw the same knuckleheads from up the street as they ripped through the store like savage beasts i saw a dude with the bottle he was acting hard getting thrown out of the store by the security guard i saw people grabbing almost anything as a gift so they could say they were finished and cross it off of the list i saw two ladies fighting in aisle three and that's when i said that's enough for me i took all of my items i threw them down on the floor without saying a word I walked out the front door when I got to the corner I looked back once more shook my head and said that was like fighting a war man I should have known better and then I swore to never go shopping at the dollar store for Christmas so they did have a few things like these movies little fun Christmas movies However, I passed on it because we usually watch stuff on TV. Oh, the belts. I thought about these belts for my husband, but he had a belt last year. And my husband loves his Corona. But usually he just drink that out of the regular bottle. And my husband has enough cups and glasses, so I passed on that. Oh, my peppermints. I love these peppermints. If you haven't tried them, definitely try them. 
Oh, this was a cute little art set. And it was $20. <laughs> um, I don't know if I would have paid $20 for it. Maybe. Um, maybe if my daughter or son, if my son was older or my daughter was younger. But I passed on it. But it's a cute set. I like it. A lot of pieces. And it's a uh, Mickey. Yeah. I think it had like 500 and something pieces. Uh, I believe so. Really, really nice. Oh my goodness. I love these pillows when it was so popular and everybody was getting them. I was like, oh, maybe I'll get me one. But now it's like, eh. So I passed on that. Oh, I was looking at this here to go with my snowman theme. But I passed on it too. I have enough. And my that little home sign is cute. Oh, I thought these were so adorable. But not worth the ten dollar price tag. Yeah. These are cute. Yeah, little card holders, but what would I need it for? The globes, and they was only a dollar. But I I think it would be good stocking stuffers for other people. And I did get this stocking, and I really like it, and I'm going to do some fun things with it for my family. And socks, I thought about. What man don't like getting socks on Christmas? Dollar General, you should be ashamed. You're too expensive. Mm. Not bad. It smells pretty good. You're too expensive. This don't have a price, but I'm sure it's expensive. The search continues. I am back from Dollar General, and all I have to say is, mm, mm, mm. I'm very disappointed, Dollar General very disappointed I found them to be just so expensive like everything was so expensive and I didn't see that many like um packages like you know those little gift packages that come with this like it just it was really disappointing so I did get some things um not very much the, the the prices is just outrageous so but i did get some things like this here <laughs> i wouldn't um i'm not going to necessarily make this a stocking stuffer because i don't feel that it is um but my husband do construction so i figured he would like this now, they did have nice stuff, but it was just the prices. And I don't know why they call it Dollar General. It is not at all like um, Dollar Tree. So, I, I don't know how they came up with the name. Because it seemed like 90% of the stuff there was definitely over a dollar. So, I don't understand the name. And I got this little face mask. And I got this for my daughter. So this will go in her little stocking stuffer. It was $2.50. Not bad. $2.50. And then I did get this. <laughs> this is a giant stocking. I thought it was too cute. And this was only $1.00. <laughs> like it was very few stuff that was a dollar 
But this was a dollar and it was huge it's huge. And it says, let it snow. And I figured that I can go over like I can stuff a bunch of toys and stuff in here for Christmas and take it to my um nieces. My niece. So <laughs> Yeah, so those three things is all that I got from Dollar General. Dollar General is too expensive. However, I did hear it's some kind of way people are buying things from there for like a penny. I was watching a video and and people were actually um, getting stuff from Dollar General that was for like a penny. Some kind of way is the stuff that is uh, supposed to be taken off the floor and people have not taken it I guess the employees or the managers have not taken it off the floor yet and then people go in there and they get it for a penny because once it goes down to a penny it's supposed to be taken off the floor but some kind of way it's not and then people stocking up getting things for a penny and you know what I'll link a, I'll link a video um, in the description uh, of what I'm talking about because I actually watched this video so y'all can check that out and you know what I picked up I picked up some their uh, little sales paper from Dollar General I picked up the little sales paper these are this is not a sale like I don't know why they displaying this on it on here like it's a sale. Can y'all see? Look at the uh drinks. You have to buy three of them to get one for ninety five cent. It well it says after. It says when you buy three, you get one for ninety five cent. Like what? That's not that's not a sale. That's not a deal. Not. It's not a cheap place for stocking stuffers. However, guys, to the search continues for stocking stuffers for my husband at a reasonable price to put in my husband's uh, stocking. So I'm thinking maybe my next place would be maybe Walmart. We'll just see what you know what Walmart has to offer for his stocking stuffer. So. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul video. That is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be notified when I upload videos. And as usual, I'm always encouraging you guys. Bye.